Hey all, hope you all are getting great. I am Atar Tiwari and in this series we are going to create a video calling application using JavaScript. So uh, in this particular video we are uh, just uh, discuss about all the environment that will be needed and also we will just see how our uh, application will look like when the uh, process, all the coding has been done. So let's not waste time. This is the video number one and let's get started. Okay guys, so now we are on our screen. So here you can see uh, the test demo of our application. So uh, here you can see there are different things that uh, our application will provide. Uh, uh, so firstly, uh, there is a name, the meeting ID and join meeting and create meeting. So uh, you have to firstly uh, fill your name. Okay, so I have filled my name and then as I, have, I don't have any meeting, so I will click on create meeting. So after creating a meeting, uh, we will just uh, uh, forward it to a, our meeting grid and uh, where all the things are set up. So if we create a meeting, so in this uh, particular meeting, so here you can see there is a camera. Uh, this is my camera and uh, there are the different buttons. Uh, start video, stop video, pause video, uh, resume video, seek video and all the recording button, mic and camera disable, screen share button. So here we can also share our screen with uh, the help of this so uh, we can also share our screen here with this uh, the participant list who all are in this meeting with the meeting ID and also a meeting uh, messaging system so if we message uh, with this so here Athar Tiwari has messaged hi so uh, this is the normal basic thing uh, which we will be uh, making in this particular series of uh, JavaScript so uh, for that we will be needing some of the uh, important uh, elements for this uh, meeting uh, for this project so uh, first will be the code editor so uh, i am using visual studio code for code editing as uh, i find it easy uh, as compared to other code editors secondly we will be needing a uh, server so for that we will be using a node.js server so i recommend you to use the latest version of this node.js server as uh, this is we used for the authenticate server uh, authenticate uh, token generation and authenticate meeting id generation after that we will be uh, needing an npm so or uh, try uh, install your npm or you can also use yarn for that so uh, these are the basic thing which we will be needed for this particular uh, series so uh, we will start uh, our coding from the next video and till then thank you for joining this video if you like this video Please hit that like button below. Also subscribe to our channel.